Welcome one and all to a new Play Now. Today with a game called Tasty, which isn't about food but about tactics. Little tactics. This is a tactics game made by a studio called Skybox Labs, if I'm not mistaken, in which you control a team of individuals that sit about uh, completing several missions, either online or uh, in single player by using a system of uh, gameplay, which I would say it's a combination of uh, Frozen Synapse and the Door Kickers. It's quite a nice combination, I've got to say, and uh, I like the way it gives you these uh, help videos, these tips that show you exactly everything you need to know about breaching, about uh, character-specific abilities and so such. Now, I have only played the practice missions up until now because I uh, feel I would uh, more or less... Uh, well, this person has 114 wins and 18 losses and this is the kind of people you see in online so yeah, I guess I would be totally... totally wrecked as a noob but... Uh, oh well, why not try it anyway? There seems to be someone else online right now just going to refresh this too. There is actually a lot of someone else right now online. So let's challenge a player. Uh, secret and secret on planning. Submit your cage match. You and your opponent are locked into a live match around this time. Then you must. Okay, I'm gonna pick a cage match to see if this play would uh, would play with me. So let's try this out. Okay, firstly we gotta choose a team. So uh, I'm gonna take this one out and put this guy instead because this guy has stealth as his ability. He can vanish. These are their four basic classes of character, and uh, each of them has three versions, three characters. Now these are both um, shotgunners. They all have a shot. Both all three of them are shotgunners. They have shotguns, but they each have an individual ability like breach this allows this character to just rush through pieces of wood that block his way this one has a radar this one is tougher he can take an extra hit he's very good at taking out snipers because he can just rush at them because a sniper can usually only fire about once per round but it that that one fire will kill any other character except for him then we have people that throw bombs at other people which are not nice people by any sort of measure. Then we have the sharpshooters, already mentioned, and the gunslinger, or the gunmen, not the gunslingers, that have uh, pistols mostly. So uh, let's get ready and see if the other player is uh, willing to play. Let's hope the other player, the other player is willing to play because it'll make this, it'll make this show more humiliating for me. Waiting for opponent. Waiting for opponent. I wonder if uh, the opponent is still uh, searching for, is still, um, I'm not exactly sure how the challenge system works, if the opponent gets the challenge at the moment that I sent the challenge, or if the opponent gets the challenge now, after I've already selected my team. If it's the, other, if it's the last way, it's, it, it could be a bit slow, the game could be kinda slow, so I may up, end up uh, choosing to play a mission... Uh, instead or a single player practice game i've already played on this map before so i know a bit of it uh do i do believe i started no no this is where i started yeah this no no okay so the the spawn points change uh last time i spawned here uh, okay yeah we're gonna exit so let's instead, uh, let's try to see if we can do a mission. The game has cinematics in it, if you wonder. There, okay. It's not a high budget game or anything. You can find it for 15 euros on Steam right now. It's I've had it since it was in early access, but I didn't manage to play it up until now. Okay, we got a rooftop, rooftop job. Uh, by the way, our characters are not what you would call... Um, Cops, they're um, mostly what would appear to be somewhat criminal-ish. I mean, you don't see law enforcement people wearing... Well, yeah, you did see people wearing afros back in the 70s. But you don't see law enforcement people wearing spikes and masks like they're from uh, Mad Max or something. Okay, so let's... I wonder if we can skip this. No, looks like we can skip it. The, uh, the game is just gonna show us each individual character. That's the, that the guy has a flashbang, it's an ability. 
this guy can i forgot what his ability was i believe oh yeah he he can explode things better than everyone else his explosions have bigger radius this guy has grenades to explode on impact we do take out yes we do we take out everyone <laughs> the look was kind of fun it's it's two two pistols with horns and uh, what's left of the nose of a uh, oh i got an email Ooh, nice. Uh, this this reminds me a bit of the old, um, well, not that old, um, j uh, not just cause. Ah, oh, damn it! I forgot the names. The tactics game that w Jack of the Lions, yes, Jack of the Lions. It has a similar feel to it. Uh, I'd say uh, it reminds me a bit of Jack of the Lions Online. Only that game didn't have a uh, tactics feature as good as this one. Attachment. Okay, that's the XP point. That's where you have to go and do the th do the thing. So let's do the thing. Okay, flashbang. Oh, I only I only have one character. So I seize the money and escape. No team casualties. Complete a round in twelve rounds. Blow up the propane tank. Okay, so this bit does remind me of a lot of Jagged Alliance Online. I wonder if that game is still around. I mean, I I remember having a lot of stuff on it. Okay, so we have four characters in this round. There's Denton, there's Ares, the Baron, and the Linus. Uh, now, well, as you can see, Linus tech tips did not pan out, so he had to resort to jacking up and uh, running through the shotgun. Okay, so this would be this would be my characters. They would actually the game would actually allow me to choose more uh, and missions. Uh, that's why they uh, let me choose right now instead of just aiming to the uh, game mode. There's a question mark. Ooh, Merc Bio. Yeah, okay, so we can change the colors. Yeah, we can. There's also a third color. I need a third color. I need to reach a level 4 in PvP to unlock it. Let's put it on red. Ooh, okay, so she does have a SWAT uh, variant. Okay, so yeah, you can treat these people as uh, cops, it would seem, but this guy, yep, he looks more like a cop right now. A really bulky cop. Okay, so let's get ready and let's get started with this game all about shooting things in the face tactically. Okay, no casualties, completing 12 rounds, blow up the propane tank. Uh, get the money first, of course, and then... Uh, this is, okay, we have to get there, kill everyone that's around us, and then escape. The escape zone was... where was the escape zone? I'll probably flash when, uh, when needed. Let's minimize this. Although, yeah, blow up the propane. We have to blow up this tank in order to get the extra achievement, the extra points. The camera is completely maneuverable. I can move it in any way I want. I can zoom in. I can see that uh, this is the last position I know an enemy to be. It shows me exactly in seconds where it was. Each round la lasts five seconds. This game is round based. Um, the closest approximation I could give you is if you've played, um, uh, what was his name, Julian Golops, uh, he made a tactics game a while ago, uh, Laser Squad Nemesis I believe it was, it was online and you could plan your attacks and then commit to them, well either that or you could compare it to um, the Clue 2, it was just Clue 2, but there you had to uh, plan an entire well, yeah, yeah, no, it would be just frozen snaps because frozen snaps, frozen snaps had the exact same thing. Okay, so let's get started. Now let's uh, move our character closer to our characters, actually closer to the intended target. Um, any one of you can spot uh, enemies? Can you? No, none of you. Okay, so let's move Denton here, and he, if if the enemy moves here, like. Oh, that's strange. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, he's great. Okay, yeah, I can actually plan out the enemies uh, around as well. Uh, I can think about. I can, it doesn't just rely on me imagining what the enemy will do. I can actually predict. Well, not predict. I can plan out what the enemy would do. So if the enemy moves there and moves there, and I move there, let's see what would happen. Yep, I would be dead. If the enemy moves there, I would be dead. This is just a preview, so that didn't actually happen. Okay, but uh, if the enemy isn't gonna move there, hmm, I'm gonna give him another command. I'm gonna tell him, tell him to stop on sight, to hold on sight, and uh, kill the bastard if he sees him, basically. 
Okay, they killed each other. Yeah, that wouldn't be that good. It wouldn't be great at all. On the other hand, I could sneak up with my guy around here. But then again, I don't know. Well, yeah, I do know. There's just one enemy. So I'm going to sneak with my guy over here. Then I'm going to tell him to free fire when he gets here. Well, when he gets here, I'm going to tell impact grenades. Mm, going to need to do... Ah, damn it. Now he has impact grenades, so they can't bounce off stuff. So that will just get him killed. Okay, cancel that. Uh, do you have any... F no, he doesn't have free fire. So I'm going to have to... Think outside the box a bit. I can move him here instead. Uh, right click. Move this waypoint. Come on, you know you want to come on, move here. No, that's about as far as I can get without being blown up. Though if I move him here, oh, come on, come on, move. Sometimes the points will just remain stuck, delete waypoint. Let's move him here instead. From here I'm gonna throw that, no, that's just gonna hit me in the face and I'll... No, wait, that, uh... No, that shows the explosion range of the, uh, the tank, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna move him there, just in case. Actually, no, just move him there. I can also tell them to look at a precise point. It's not like in uh, Door Kickers, where you would tell them what direction to look at. I actually tell them now what point to look at so i'm going to tell him to look at that point so he'll always gravitate his view towards that point which is going to be quite nice gonna do the same for this guy now also have these other characters like my sniper which i'm gonna put here i'm gonna tell her to look in the exact same direction though she's not gonna have a very good field of view from there now this guy he's a tough no he can breach through barriers no it's not the other guy okay let's uh, yeah he will breach through that i'm actually going to tell him to sprint meaning that he will be able to travel faster in his turn and he at this point he will actually be able to see the enemy so i'm going to tell him to look in that direction while he's sprinting and hold on no yeah this is a disadvantage. I can't tell him to look and sprint at the same time because it requires certain finesse that uh, the characters don't seem to have. Yeah, that would be the point where he would stop and shoot him. So let's preview this. Keep in mind, I told him to move, so the result may not be the same. Okay, I'm gonna actually remove uh, this guy's order list. You can actually move all orders with just uh, backspace. The interface is quite well made quite um, intuitive and to the point i would say it doesn't waste time okay that would be it so let's commit to this and hope we don't die okay let's see the result okay wasn't shot wasn't shot okay yeah uh things are actually going okay though i should have told him to go all the way to the end not just wait there yeah, none of them seem to have uh, made it all the way to the end. Because I told them to look. When they when you look, it does uh, cut down a bit on the uh, um, movement. Now, I, okay, that would put me in range of... Uh, okay, let's delete that, delete that, yes. Delete that. Move here. And free fire on the tank. Well, let's preview that, shall we? Keep in mind, this is the easiest mission possible. I'm, I'm way, way overthinking this. Told you to free fire. Told you to free fire. Why don't you free fire? It didn't f she didn't free fire. Okay, uh, clear look. Maybe this will give her the speed necessary to actually shoot that thing. Yeah, but she's sort of messed. Okay, I'm gonna switch that... Uh, Clear that, clear looks, move here, and maybe I can shoot that thing as well, those barrels next to it and cause it to explode. Destruct is this destructible too? Destructible cover, destructible cover. I may actually need to use the um, this big guy to shoot at the uh, tank. 
The fun thing is, you can actually predict where the enemy is going to be. Where they're going to move, actually, and uh, shoot uh, at where they will be in 5 seconds or 2 seconds. Instead of where they are. And if you manage to do this, it really gives the game a sense of... Uh, I would say... Um, mm, oh, come on. Sense of... Can't really find the word. Accomplishment? No. A sense of... I did it! I'm amazing! You know. That feeling of I did something amazing. I predict the I am... I can see through the mist of time type thing. Okay, let's put this on this. So let you look up there. And let's uh, preview. Everybody's okay. Okay, we'll actually shoot that guy. Which is okay. Okay. And you... You just standing guard. I can get into crotch if I need to. Let's commit to those. And let's see how we mess this up. Okay, he's right in front of us. Uh, no matter what. Mark a target with the Aries track ability. Okay, so we know where the target is. The target is dead. And my guy is not dead. No, he did take a bullet, but he's not dead. And because the game asked me to blow that thing up, I'm actually going to blow it up right now. Uh, just to make sure it uh, gives me that extra reward. But I can't when I'm there. Huh? Okay, cancel that. Let's uh, move all your heal, come on, move there, you can actually sprint, okay, you too, sprint over there, you, mm, not really sure you need to move that way, okay, let's commit and let's see what happens, it's all ready, come on, everybody's there, and they need to, oh yeah, I do believe, there are new enemies around. Two enemy reinforcements incoming, okay. So I'm gonna just blow up this tank right now. Um, just so I can get a, that extra point. I'm actually gonna blow it up with this guy because these things usually take about three shots to blow up. May I should get screwed here and get one of my guys killed. Guys and gal, I mean. Uh, that would be okay, I guess. Yeah, that would shoot it. Let's test this out. Yep, that blows it up quite nicely. And you, 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 you're gonna look out this way. No, you're gonna move. Cancel, you're gonna move from this cover and look out this way. Now this is gonna give you a clear line of sight to the enemy if they come through there. Meanwhile, you look, you, no, you move here. And you're gonna look at this direction. And you, you big Lomax, you're gonna go back here. And right click. Come on, come on, you know you wanna, you know you wanna. Okay, you're gonna look in this direction. Oh yeah, we had to click on the other thing, okay. Let's preview this. No one dies, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, commit. The result is... I blow up the... No cash, whoopties. What the... Who died? And who... Wait. Did I get my guy killed by blowing up the propane tank? I do believe I got my guy killed from blowing up the propane tank. Okay, let's, uh, let's see that again. Yeah, I was in the blast radius, so... You could call that a, a, a small, slight, teensy, incy be Well, I, I did get one of the objectives, so yeah, why not? Okay, I'm gonna wait here for... Okay, that's the escape zone. I'm gonna wait for them here for a second, for a round, I mean. Let them come. There's one. Okay, he shot at me. Let's see if I can return the favor. No, I cannot because this bomb will explode on impact. So I'm... Uh, I'm screwed over here. I'm uh, majorly, majorly screwed. Uh, you can call me Sergeant Screwed right now. Okay, that guy is dead. But you can easily see how doing stupid things in this game can easily get you majorly screwed. Maybe I 
can uh, run away. One HP left, so... Uh, okay, sprint over there, so they can see you. No, uh, sprint over here, actually start sprinting here. Gonna get there, crouch. Nope, he's gonna die. Probably should have run into the bullet. That that may have been a uh, a bad idea. So let's run behind cover. No, let's run over here. Uh, come come on, let me drag you. Let me drag you. Okay, run over here and then over there, and um, while sprinting, and then over here, crouch. Let's see, maybe this gets him out alive. Nope, still dead. Okay, let's commit to this. New results. Okay, whoa. Did it just change my perspective? There was a guy. Oh, there was another enemy right there behind me. Damn it. I did not see that guy. Okay, I'm gonna see him now, though. Let's switch this. If he comes this way, he's gonna have a really bad time. Let's crouch. You, yes, you, you big Lomax, you rush over here. Well, I actually probably can't rush. I'm gonna make a look in this direction. Look at this guy. Last scene, last scene. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. There's three of them. I thought there was only no, there were two rounds before they show up, but there's three of them actually. Okay, I'll come into changes. This is gonna be quite brutal for me. I mean, I'm gonna lose, like, badly. Wow, did I lose. So now I'm with a lone gunman. <laughs> As you can imagine, uh, things went better when I first uh, played this game in uh, training. Okay, he did that well. Okay, I'm gonna commit to this because he did that quite well. Okay, and now there's someone with a rocket launcher behind you. Okay, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna run up here. And I'm first gonna look in the other direction, actually. Sprint. Look. They may be mutually exclusive, actually, but let's see what happens. Can sprint and look at the same time. He's gonna shoot me. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell him to sprint. Uh, clear look. Moves a lot faster now, but by the time I, yeah, it's gonna take me a while to move. Okay, and then... Okay, I'm gonna tell him to look in this way. Better yet, hold on fire would be nice. I don't know, let's, let's just see what this goes. I'm probably gonna lose this round, but still. Welcome to the party, what? Oh, I, I finished the mission! Yay! So it's over. It's it's done. Yeah. Well, only one of my guys made it out alive. Still, I blew up the... Wait a minute, I blew up the propane tank. I did, I know I did, because this guy died doing it. Wow. The game really doesn't like me. New Merc available, Denton. I'm gonna get him as uh, exit into the map. Okay, let's let's view the replay actually. Let's view the entire replay of how this went amazingly bad. Well, this guy was standing there. He moved back there. I broke that wall. I shot him in the face. Then for no reason I blew up that propane tank. Yep. But I did blow up the propane tank. No, wait, no. Actually, I didn't blow up the propane tank, it was blown up by um, by the small bar barrels. So yeah, the game uh, actually needs me to be a bit more direct in my approach, it would seem. And then I took out that guy. Uh, uh, the only thing that I find to be missing from this game is that the characters don't seem to gain experience. Now this guy with uh, two kills would have been... I'd say he, he would have done good. It would have been uh, very competent. A little rusty indeed. There's a real proficient piece of work back there. Uh, these guys aren't easily impressed. Yeah, they weren't easily impressed by me just getting my people killed. Merc roster, I have this guy available. Okay. 
Mention records. Yeah, I guess that's uh This is where you where you spend most of your time in this main in this game in the single player mode. You have about 30 missions from what I read earlier, so yeah it it could be actually quite fun. Ooh, now I have a new merc available, no casualties, kill four enemies. Here we, I would have uh, killed five enemies. Okay, so no more blowing up or pain decks. Yeah, I learned my lesson with that one. Well, that's it. Not really much more I can say about this game. I mean, you've saw how badly I played with it. I'm gonna try and do one. Oh, did it? Yes, it found the match. Okay, wow, there's uh, someone actually wanted to play with five people. Okay, so let's get. Um, what should we get? What should we get? Let's get the big old tough guy. And let's get ready. Probably gonna lose this one badly because this player selected five uh, five characters. You can have a lot of characters in this game if you want to. Okay, I'm ready. Oh boy, wait a minute. Oh yeah, we're we're sp we're not spread out evenly. This is gonna make uh, this game very interesting. Okay, so you are Denton the Flashbanger. I'm not gonna use you right now. You are the uh, Big Lomax, I believe. Which one of you? Uh, which one are you? You are. Oh yeah, the Breacher. Let's put you. Um, this is gonna be a tough one. Um, you can't get there in one round. You ever, no, cancel, cancel, cancel. Get there and uh, look in this direction. You uh, should cover his back. Yeah, that would be fine for those two. These guys are in a bit of a worse situation. Okay, you got a sniper. You have the, the tough guy who has one more um, hit point. Impact grenades. I'm gonna go on a whim and just... Mm, no, I'm gonna do this. Gonna go here. And pack grenade right. Ah, need to. Okay, I'm good. No, not a good place. Go here. And pack grenade right on. Right here. Yeah, that should do it. I have a feeling they're gonna try and cover themselves over there, but they may shoot my guy. They may out outright kill him before he has a chance to do anything. And a look in this direction. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do something good. I'm gonna have these last. Who, who is this? This is a sniper, right? Okay, that's Ares. I'm gonna have for move here and a look in this direction. So, if all goes well, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. So, let's commit those orders. Come on, opponent. Okay, the opponent already did uh, his part. So let's see what happens. Proce processing the results. This may take a while. Okay, round ready. That did not actually take as much as I believe it would. Okay, so we've each done something completely different. Ready. Okay, so... Oh my god, did he shoot? He just shot at me. He just shot at me. Okay. Mm I may actually have a way to take this guy out right now. Uh, he shot at the big guy. Impact grenade here. Maybe I can move it actually a bit closer. A bit farther, I mean. Yeah, it's gonna be right in the middle. And then I'm gonna have to move back here. You, on the other hand, you're gonna go face first into the enemy and you should be tough enough to take uh, any hits they're gonna try and uh, deliver upon your face you on the other hand you're gonna go here and look in that direction maybe just catch him coming towards you you're crouching right no you're not crouching okay you're gonna crouch and they're gonna look in this direction because they've come that way no, uh, no, not flashbang. I said, look and ah, uh, damn it! No, he he's looking. Cancel, cancel. Look in this direction. Why is it red? Preview. And it was red for no reason. 
Oh yeah, he's. Oh yeah, yeah. I just seen that. Uh, my character is gonna die, so I'm actually gonna move him instantly in the other direction. Let's see if he dies now. No, he doesn't die anymore. Good, good, good. Okay, that will keep him safe, so I'm gonna commit to that. Yes. Order submit. Waiting for your opponent to submit orders. Um, notification settings. I could probably... You can actually do this game uh, by email. Cancel. Uh, no, wait, wait. Where? Come on. Get back in there. You can... You can actually play multiple games at the same time, it would seem. Which makes it, again, it makes it, makes it a bit similar to uh, um, Laser Squad Nemesis, which you could play over email. You could play in a lot of creative ways. Okay, results are ready. And it was for round one. Ready. This may take a while. But you understand the instance of the game, I, I would wager. It's... It's a fun game. You can find it for 15, 15 euros on Steam. It's called Paste E with two E's. Little tactics made by uh, Skybox Labs. It's a um, really neat twist on uh, strategy, on tactics actually. Um, it's well made, I've got to say. I, I'm actually surprised to see how well made it is. Mostly because I've played some of the newer-ish... Jagged Alliance games and they had some rough edges that this one doesn't seem to have. It's it's gonna be interesting to see where this game goes next, where this idea. Uh, not really sure if it's gonna be as success as big as uh, Door Kickers. That game uh, got a lot of got a lot of popularity, but uh, this one this one may be a bit more niche because it's about multiplayer tactics. Uh, which Door Kickers will get in the next version. Mm. It's gonna be interesting. Gotta say, it's... It's a good game so far. If only people acted a bit faster when they played it, uh, that would be better, but still. Let's go home and... Uh, my matches... Refresh. There should be one in progress. Turn 2, opponent's turn. Yeah, it's still his turn. So the game will notify you in uh, your email if uh, your turn comes up. So you can play it asynchronously or you can play it directly. I mostly like playing them directly because it saves a bit on time. It, it makes this kind of show easier to do. You also have a practice mode with all the maps available in uh, the game. Like McCallum Plaza or... Yeah, this. I don't know what it is. Sierra Vista and all sorts of stuff. So yeah. That's about it for this play. Now uh, I'll come back next time maybe with Blueprint Tycoon or um, I uh, regrettably missed the target uh, for last week's um, Hitman uh, list of target. I, I didn't have time to do it, which is sad because it was on Paris. I mostly discovered everything on Paris, so I uh, could have probably done it very easy, but I, uh, I didn't get a chance to play it. Maybe the next time. Eh. Also, I could probably do Marrakesh because I haven't played that either on the next show. So, see you next time. Uh, have a good weekend and, well, yeah, it's Sunday, so there's very little weekend left. And stay away from the heat because, my god, it's over 35 degrees outside in Celsius. That's, uh, that would be about uh, death. Yeah, that would be death in Fahrenheit, I guess. Well, goodbye. If you enjoyed this show, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Or, if you thought it was horrible, then share it with your enemies and make them suffer. We shall be your weapon of vengeance. But if you liked what you saw, you could, I don't know, maybe donate because basically YouTube is horrible at revenue by using the link in the description or just buy my book. It's a fantasy book about, well, a lot of stuff. I guarantee it won't suck, and if it does suck, you can find me here and complain about it.